Welcome or welcome back at any help at C squared. In this example, we need to find the amplitude, the midline, the period, and the phase shift of this trigonometric function y equals to sine and so on, minus phi, be careful, and we need to draw one complete period. So first of all, I notice that this function is not really in this form you see it here, because on this form you notice we have x minus c. So what we want to do first is to uh, get rid of these three inside of the parentheses, and that is not too complicated. You're going to factor out that three, and then inside of the parentheses, we're going to have x plus pi over 4. If you are not sure about your parentheses, uh, go back, multiply, use distributive property, and see if you get what you start from. In this case, 3x plus 3 pi over 4 and then minus 5. For now, this equation looks like this one, as I said, and we can find the uh, amplitude, for example. The amplitude is 2. Is this not number in front of the sine function? The midline, the midline will be this negative 5. Okay. And I, I put it there, y equals negative 5, uh, because that is a horizontal line. Then the period. The period is 2 pi over b, and b in our case is this 3. So the period is 2 pi over 3. And the phase shift, c. The phase shift, we have to look here. Right, we to get that x minus c, so that will be x minus negative pi over 4. So the phase shift is negative pi over 4. Now, having all these elements now, we can graph one complete period. So I'm going to draw an x and y axis. And uh, I'm going to start, in fact, let me, let me, in fact, redo this x-axis because I notice that midline is negative 5. So I read more quadrant 3 and 4, right? So I'm going to move the, the x-axis right here. And because, like I said, this midline is y equals negative 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, 5 down, and this is the midline. And in fact, let me use a different color to emphasize this midline. And now I'm looking to this amplitude of 2. That means I'm going to go 2 up from the midline, and I'm going to get y equals negative 3. This trigonometric function is not going to have a value uh, greater than negative 3 and also is not going to have a value less than negative 7 because you have this amplitude of 2. So my sine function will oscillate uh, between these two horizontal lines. And now I'm going to look to get these five points you see it in this picture, right? I'm going to get the same five points. Do you see these are three intercepts for this parent graph and a max and a mean, okay? So let's start with this first point. This first point, for which for the original, for the parent graph, it's zero and zero now is going to be shifted to the left by over four. And it's going to be on that midline. So it's going to be, let's say, somewhere here. Okay, so this point here is, is going to be negative pi over 4. And the midline is negative 5. Y equals negative 5, right? And now we're going to need to find this second point, right? The... Uh, point where the graph intersect again the midline in our case and that will be after one period and the period if you remember is 2 pi over 3 so how am i going to get that to this negative pi over 4 i'm going to add a period 
2 power over 3. And I'm going to have to come with the common denominator of 12. And this is negative 3 pi over 12, right? Instead of negative pi over 4, plus 2 pi. No, in fact, that one I also have to change the denominator, right? So I'm going to have to multiply by 4, and I'm going to have 8 pi over 12. And now I can add them, and I get 5 pi over 12. So let's say... Uh, somewhere here we have 5 pi over 12 and obviously uh, the y coordinate will be negative 5 okay so we have these two endpoints for a period right now we're going to have to find this guy that is in the middle between these two uh, points I talk about. And how do I find this? In the middle is the keyword. You're going to add the x coordinates, right? Negative pi over 4 plus 5 pi over 12. And you can divide by 2 or multiply by 1 half. I prefer this method to multiply by 1 half. And negative pi over 4 again, I'm going to change that to negative 3 pi over 12 plus 5 pi over 12. And that will give us uh, 2 pi over 12 if we add inside of the parentheses. And then if we simplify these twos, we have pi over 12. So this point that is between these two endpoints, let me call like that, will be somewhere here. And that will be pi over 12 and negative 5. And now we have to find two more points and we're going to start to this guy, which is the maximum. The maximum is going to be in the middle between these two guys between negative pi over 4 and pi over 12 and again the keyword is in the middle so i'm going to add the x coordinates and i'm going to divide by 2 or multiply by one half so that will be one half and then we have again negative 3 pi over 12 plus pi over 12 and that will be one half times negative 2 pi over 12 the two cancel out and we have just negative pi over 12 so i'll say it should be somewhere here again my picture is not accurate but oh, it should be somewhere here i'm sorry uh, it's not accurate it's a sketch so this point here will be negative pi over 12 and again this is a maximum it's going to be negative 3 here and we have to find the last point in this five points technique which is this minimum of this sine function and that point will be somewhere here in the middle again the keyword between pi over 12 and 5 pi over 12. So that's the reason I'm going to add these two x coordinates of these two points. And I'm going to get uh, 6 pi over 12. And you have choices here. I will go with this choice. 6 goes in 12 two times. And then we have 2 times 2. That will be 4. So we have pi over 4. This point here should be pi over 4. And again, this is a minimum, two units down from negative five, that will be negative seven. So now we have, a, I will say, a decent sketch. It's not the exact graph, but it's a decent sketch. And we have, in fact, the uh, cor correct five points that we need to sketch a sine function. On the next slide, you're gonna see an accurate gra gra graph, sorry. There you go, you see it here. Uh, and 
that's it if you enjoyed this video clip don't forget to click the like button and come back on c squared for more help thank you